everybody, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today I've decided to film the furry friends tag. Um, one of the questions that I get asked most often is about my animals, how they're doing and just general questions about them. So I decided to film the furry friends tag today to tell you all a little bit more about them. So as you may know, I have two dogs and a cat. Charlie doesn't really want to be in shot at the moment because he is obsessed with his ball, so he's looking at that. But this is Nymeria and this is Ziva. And I'm sure Charlie will come and introduce himself in a minute. If you heard that, that was just him throwing his ball on the floor for attention because he is not interested in being in this video at all, but he just wants to play fetch all day long. So the first question is, what are your pet's names? So Charlie has now come to sit on the bed so that you can see him. This is Charlie. Uh, the other dog, which was here previously, is Ziva. Um, and this is Nymeria. So the second question is, what type of pet is it and what breed? Now this is actually one of the most asked questions. And the truth is that we don't really know what breed the dogs are. Charlie was sold to us as a long-haired Northern Inuit. That may be true, or he may, may be um, Utonagan or some other type of wolf lookalike breed. Um, Ziva um, actually came from a, she was in a dog's home, and her certificate says that she's a Malamute, which is clearly not true. She's definitely not a Malamute. Uh, so she could also be some type of wolf lookalike dog, or maybe she could be like a husky collie mix or something like that. We're not completely sure because they didn't come with any papers or anything like that. Nymeria is the only one of the pets who um, is actually a pedigree and she is a Maine Coon and her colour is called Silver Tabby with white. She has a white chest and white paws and she has a kind of mostly silver with some kind of more brownish um, bits on the back and she has the beautiful tiger stripes. The third question is, how long have you had your pet friend? Um, so we got Charlie first and we got him at the beginning of September 2014. So we've had him like, what is it, two and a half years? Something like that, just over two and a half years. And then we got Ziva probably about a month after that. And we've had Nymeria just um, about six months. We got her in the summer, just gone. And the fourth question is, how did you receive your pet? Now, we didn't actually receive them, like they weren't gifts or anything. Um, when my previous dog, my childhood dog, died, I started looking online just to see if there were any other dogs that needed a home and I came across a picture of Charlie. It was actually quite soon after he died and I wasn't really ready to get another dog but as soon as I saw Charlie I knew that he was the dog that I wanted and we ended up, uh, he ended up coming to live with us just a couple of days after that. He came for a visit first and we decided that we really liked him and then the previous owner got um, an offer from somebody else who also wanted to rehome him but um, he ended up coming to us in the end because we seemed like nice people. Um, Charlie was given up by his previous family through no fault of his own because he grew too big and they couldn't um, really deal with the amount of exercise he needed. Um, Ziva we also got from another family, we also found her online, she has had several different homes previously, one of the homes we know was abusive, one of the homes had her tied up outside in Stockport which is an area a little bit outside of Manchester and she's also been to Lee Dog's home and then she got adopted by this really nice family which is who we got her off but unfortunately because of a breakup they couldn't keep her anymore and they already had a very difficult husky 
who they had to accommodate so they ended up um, rehoming Zebra just two and a half months after uh, they had rescued her. So that's how we got Zebra. Nymeria was a breeding cat and we got her from the breeder who had her previously. Uh, she was no longer useful for breeding because there was a problem with her milk and a lot of her kittens didn't end up end up surviving, they had to be hand reared and that's quite difficult if you want to make a business out of breeding. So they um, put her up for adoption and I went to get her on the train from Scotland. I actually have some footage from that day because I was intending on vlogging it but I wasn't sure if we were going to keep her at first because I wasn't sure how well she would get on with the dog. So I might actually insert some of that footage here or see if, um, see if I can make that into a vlog and upload it at some point. I think that would be fun. Uh, so the next question is how old is your pet? Okay, so we don't have um, we don't have actual birth dates for any of the animals, but we think that Charlie's four, Ziva will be four in April, and Nymeria is three, and I'm not sure when her birthday is at all because they didn't send me her papers because obviously they didn't want me to breed her. Um, next. What are some quirky aspects of your pet's personality? Oh, this is a good one. I don't know, they've got loads of quirky things. Ziva likes to snort all the time and she likes to roll in other animals' poo and she likes to eat things, things that she's not allowed to eat. Uh, I don't know, Rick, help me out. What does Ziva do that's quirky? What, as in? quirky for a dog because all the things you mentioned are typical things for dogs uh, yeah just something that she does that's i don't know she's a very doggy dog she doesn't really do anything that dogs don't normally do that i can think of okay rick thinks that all of the things that zebra does are completely normal for a dog um, she likes to wallow in the mud um, she likes to shake the mud on the people that are next to her um, she likes to take the stuffing out of my cushions, that's a good one, she loves doing that, it's one of her favourite pastimes if we ever leave her home alone. Once she ate all of the fish food and decided to eat it on the sofa and then we had fish food um, fused to the leather sofa for a couple of weeks. Pumpkin. Which great. Oh yeah, once she also um, ate a whole mini pumpkin and we couldn't understand where it had gone and she later threw it up so we realised that she had actually eaten it. Um, Charlie, I don't know, is it a quirk? He's obsessed with his ball. You can probably see maybe the top of his head now. He's just looking at his ball over here. Charlie, bring me the ball. Bring me the ball, bring it here. Okay, so Charlie's actually so obsessed with his ball that the only way you can get him to sit still is by asking him to stay and showing him the ball. So I wouldn't say it's really a quirk, but that is definitely his biggest obsession. Um, puddles. He doesn't like puddles. He pants it around oh, yeah. and it's a girl. Also, he hates puddles, so he won't walk through a puddle. He always has to jump over it or um, tiptoe around it. And if he does ever have to put his feet in water, he just um, does so very delicately. <laughs> Um, I don't really know. I don't know if Nymeria does anything quirky for a cat. I've not actually ever had a cat before. She always drinks water out of my water glass, which I thought was incredibly weird. But since I've spoken to other people that have had cats for years, they said that that's completely normal and loads of other cats do that too. Um, she loves to climb. We have a skywalk and she always loves going up there and surveying her kingdom from the top of the wall. Um, she likes to call me when she's upstairs. She likes to dangle uh, over the banister and shout me really loudly so I can go and see her. I don't know, what else do you do? 
She doesn't really do much else, to be honest. She claws everything. A typical indoor cat. Sometimes she claws things, but um, generally I'd say that she's quite well behaved. Okay, so the next question is a little bit weird. It's what does the connection to your animal imply to you? Um, I don't know if it implies anything. You know, we're a family. The animal's part of our family, and they're just very important, and life would be the same without them. What are your favourite times with your pet? Oh. Well, Rick's favourite pastime with Charlie is making that infernal sound that you can hear just now by um, playing with him, which is something that they love to do. I love taking them for walks. I love seeing Diva play with her friends. And I love it when Charlie can run around, which is not very often because he doesn't like um, meeting strange dogs, so he can't play with them. And my favourite thing to do with Nigeria is just um, for her to sit on my lap while I'm doing work. I find that very comforting and fun. Like I've got a little friend that can always be with me when I'm editing photos or stuff like that. Usually when I'm on the computer, if I'm making stuff, obviously she does not with me. Um, the dog's favourite pastime to do together is to play fight. What are some of your pet's nicknames? Okay, so I think we have a few nicknames. Um, Ziva's nickname is usually Weevil. I don't really know how that came about. A Weevil is like um, an insect. Um, but somehow from Ziva we got Weevil and Rick calls her Weevil and it's like her second name. Her other name is Angel Bear. <laughs> when she's been very good she's an Angel Bear but that doesn't happen very often because she's quite bad with hay. Um, Charlie, I don't know, it was Charlie but now we kind of call him Charlie because we think that's funny and also Moonwolf. Um, it's quite common for kids in the area to shout, is it a wolf, when he goes past. Um, so that's his nickname. And Nymeria obviously is quite a long name for a cat, so we end up calling her Nim Nim or Nimbelina, which is kind of like Thumbelina, but Nimbelina because she's quite small compared to the dogs. And I think that's it. I think that was everything. I think, actually, I've seen some people also talk about what their pet eats. So the dogs are on a raw diet. Um, they eat minced chicken and salmon, like what's left of the salmon when you filter it. So like the belly or the bones with some meat left on them. And also veg and porridge and rice and any sort of combination of those things. And Nymeria eats a kind of mixture of some of the raw fish or chicken and some grain-free dried cat food. And that's about it. So I think that was everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know anything else about my pets, please comment down below and I will try and ask answer all your questions. Um, as some of you might know if you watch Vlogmas, we also have a lot of um, scaly friends or aquatic friends. So if you would be interested to know about them, please let me know and I'll be happy to do another video about the fish and aquatic frogs that we have. Oh, and also um, shrimp. We have some shrimp. So thank you all for watching, I hope that you have a great weekend and see you again soon, bye!